Here we are at West Laurel Hill Cemetery, located in the outskirts of Philadelphia. This video was made in November, so we hope you are enjoying Thanksgiving weekend and welcoming the month of December. Today, we wanted to share with you a topic that many of you may not know about. Around the date of Thanksgiving is the anniversary of the Mother's Day creator, Anna Jarvis's passing. She created Mother's Day and later regretted it. In this video, we will be going over the story and the resting place of Anna Jarvis. The story of Mother's Day is the story of firm determination of a daughter, Anna Jarvis, who resolved to pay tribute to her mother, Miss Anna M. Jarvis, and all other mothers of the world. Anna Jarvis dedicated her life to fulfill her mother's dream of the recognition of day for honoring mothers. Though never a mother herself, founder of Mother's Day, Anna Jarvis is today recognized as the mother of Mother's Day, an apt title to define the remarkable woman's ceaseless devotion to her mother and motherhood in general. Anna Jarvis was born in Webster, Taylor County, West Virginia on May 1, 1864. She was the ninth of 11 children born to Anne Marie and Granville Jarvis. Her family moved to Grafton when Anna was a year old. It was here that Anna did her schooling. In 1881, she enrolled at the Augusta Family Academy in Stoughton, Virginia, now Mary Baldwin College. After finishing her academics, Anna returned to Grafton and did teaching in a school for seven years. Anna Jarvis got the inspiration for celebrating Mother's Day quite early in life. It so happened that one day when Anna was 12 years old, Anna's mother, Miss Jarvis, said a class prayer in the presence of her daughter. To conclude the lesson on Mothers of the Bible, Miss Jarvis said a small prayer. I hope that someone, sometime, will found a memorial, Mother's Day, commemorating her for the matchless service she renders to humanity in every field of life. She is entitled to it. Anna never forgot this prayer, and at her mother's graveside service, she recalled the prayer and said, By the grace of God, you shall have that Mother's Day. The words were overheard by her brother Claude. After the death of her mother in 1905, Anna Jarvis resolved to honor her mother. She became more serious in her resolution when she found that adult children in the U.S. were negligent in their behavior towards their parents. Besides the desire of her mother that someone would one day pay tribute to all mothers, living and dead, and appreciate their contributions, made Anna's decisions even stronger. In 1907, Miss Anna began an aggressive campaign to establish a National Mother's Day in U.S. On the second death anniversary of her mother, she led a small tribute to her mother at Andrews Methodist Church. By the next year, Mother's Day was also celebrated in her own city of Philadelphia. Philadelphia is called the city of brotherly love. It is also the city of motherly love. This is where Mother's Day started. In fact, if you are ever in Philadelphia, you can see the plaque of Mother's Day in across City Hall. To give shape to her resolution, Miss Anna Jarvis, along with her supporters, began to write hundreds of letters to those holding the positions of power to advocate the need for a national Mother's Day. A fluent speaker, Anna used every platform to promote her cause. Though the response was cold initially, she achieved a breakthrough by gaining the support of great merchant John Wanamaker of Philadelphia. The movement gained a fresh impetus with his support. People also wore white and red carnations to pay tributes to their mothers, according to the tradition started by Anna Jarvis. Anna chose carnations because they were her mother's favorite flowers. White carnation was her most favorite because it re represented the purity of a mother's heart. A white carnation was to be worn to honor deceased mothers, and a red one to honor a living mother. By 1911, Mother's Day was celebrated in almost every state of the Union. And in 1914, President Woodrow Wilson made the official announcement proclaiming Mother's Day as a national holiday that was to be held each year on the second Sunday of May. On the traditional women who felt complacent staying at home. Instead, she strived to bestow honor and dignity on women who were homemakers. This was one of her main purpose of celebrating Mother's Day. Mother's Day is meant to give due honor to the women who gave us birth and life. Though we often have the feelings of gratitude towards our mothers, we do not confess it often. Mother's Day is celebrated to share those feelings with our mothers. 
to spend some time with her and make her feel special. Those staying away from mothers must express their feelings of love and gratitude by writing to them or talking over the phone. On November 24, 1948, Jarvis died at age 84, alone and penniless from the various legal battles she waged over the holiday she started. She never made any profit from Mother's Day, and she never had any children. Therefore, we did not want to post this video on Mother's Day. We would like to pay tribute to her here on around the passing date. You can also share this video to educate others about the history of Anna Jarvis. Now we will be showing the video of Anna Jarvis's resting place. We will have the coordinations to the grave if you ever want to pay your respects to her and her family. This large headstone shows the family Jarvis. able to see Anna's brother, Clyde. On the left side, you will be able to see Anna and her mother's name as well. There will be bushes to make it harder to see their names. The marker is flanked by two bushes. Front is facing Norrington Avenue and can easily be located from the road. The inscription below the Jarvis name says, Founded Mother's Day, May 10th, 1908. Officially proclaimed by President Woodrow Wilson, May 9th. 1914. Rest in peace, Anna Jarvis. May you rest in peace. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on who we should do next in the comments. This is Infinitely Productions. We love you.